As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. Well, let's not be too hasty, deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families Suffer? Justice can be complicated, Deputy. Sometimes the cost of exacting justice is greater than the cost of doing nothing. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation, this company, or the people who work for me. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not actually threatening to attack a Freestar Ranger, are you? You're a despicable man, Hope. And I hope you get exactly what you deserve. Absolutely. Consider it over. It's ancient history. You've already taken care of the first, and I won't be hiring anyone to take their place. From now on, I'll dedicate myself to looking after the hard-working people of Hope Tech. As for you, you're a hero, Deputy. You've saved this company and ensured a bright future for our employees and their families. You can count on me, Deputy. You'll find that my words as reliable as every ship that leaves this factory. Now, I'm sure the Marshal is waiting for an update on your progress. I won't keep you any longer. Farewell, Deputy. You've done good work today. Oh, and... Since we're agreed that discretion is in order, I'll take that slate from you now. You're back. Good to see you back safe, Deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Damn, you've got guts of steel. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? Makes my heart heavy to hear that. There was a time he was a great leader and a hero of the Free Star Collective. It's too bad he threw all of that away. Still, it's hard to escape the feeling you cured the symptom but not the disease. They were mercenaries, and that means someone hired them. Now they can just hire someone else and pick up where they left off. The whole thing just feels unresolved. A temporary victory at best. Couldn't ask any more of you than that. 
While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Woo! Uh, Congratulations! Job, Ranger. We should have a talk. When you have the time, of course. Can I help? Congratulations. The promotion's well earned. You're a despicable man, Hope. And I hope you get exactly what you deserve. Such a shame to see a promising career cut so tragically short. Damn it! He... He tried to have you killed! I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries... It was so awful. No, you're wrong. That's not all he was. He always looked out for us, for his employees. I know what I just heard and saw, but he was a friend. No. He was more like a father. And now he's... You. You killed him. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to so many people. What happens to us now? That's... That would be... Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... Maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. There might be some difficult days ahead, but I wish you good luck. You're back. Good to see you back safe, Deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Damn, you've got guts of steel. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? What? Ron Hope? That's one hell of an accusation, Deputy. Are you really that surprised? 
Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? Sounds like his pride got the best of him. Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't the marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. Thanks to my own personal biases against the Freestar Collective, I was skeptical when you originally accepted the appointment. But seeing you in this moment, <laughs> I have to admit that I am bloody proud of you. Well done. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Woo! I feel for the folk in this trash. I try and give a credit or two to the low house when I'm able. I have something I need to discuss with you. Congratulations. The promotion is well earned. Well, he says I spent too much time with her. It's not right. 